Alright, so today I received these uh, 4G antennas in the mail, uh, straight out of China of course, uh, and these are going to the Internet Blaster TV antenna 4G thingy. Uh, however, I did hook them up very briefly to see if they work at all, which they do, uh, but the performance was abysmal and, yeah, I'm accounting that to this uh, a rather unimpressive 2 meter spaghetti attached to them. Uh, it's labelled RG174, but uh, yeah, it's going to be relatively poor quality wiring. Uh, so I'm going to have to cut this short, uh, and while I have to do that, I'm going to end up with some snippety bits of this stuff with the connectors attached. So I figured it would also uh, try and do a very uh, ignorant, haphazard, uh, just cobbled together um, connection to the original receiver bit of the antenna to see if that works. Uh, so that's originally a single. Uh, RF output, but I'm figuring we can just cut a trace and uh, essentially turn it into a very ugly, probably horribly wrong uh, impedance uh, dual output thingy. Uh, and might as well give it a go, I've got nothing to lose. Uh, so we're going to have to start by taking these apart then, I think. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's just a sticker with some magnets inside. And we'll want to get inside this. I don't want to cut the wire off it if I can't get it back together. I guess that would be a bit of a shame. I'll see. This seems to be either taped or glued. There we go. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, that's ugly. Uh, the shield of the wire is just hanging loose in there. Uh, but I guess that's what you would expect out of a thing like this. The uh, important part is, it is just soldered onto the little golden thingy there, so I've got nothing to lose by just snipping the wire at some stage. I don't need more than perhaps 20 centimeters. So, let's just... Uh... Alright, so here's the original receiver bit of the TV antenna, and uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of RF magic going on here with the uh, uh, one of the two antennas going, I see, uh, straight to the middle pin, and it snakes its way around to this part, and then it goes down into the shield of the coax connector, and the other one just goes uh, straight to ground, it seems. So there's some magic impedance matchy differential signaling black voodoo magic going on there, which I'm figuring will entirely disregard, uh, because uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, get rid of this connector and cover traces there and there and the solder mile leads to there and there and we'll see what happens just just out of curiosity uh, because I'm too lazy to research how antennas are actually supposed to work okay coax out of the way so let's just uh, thoroughly mangle this thing Okay, oh yeah, that looks pretty cut to me. And bring out some fresh copper. Ugh, this wire's not coming nicely. This actually seems like reasonable quality. Why all I suspect it might be CCA rather than real copper. But for an antenna wider, which doesn't have to carry any current, who cares? Just make it cheap for me, China. I really have no idea whether or not I should connect the grounds together in this end. 50-50, uh, let's just solder them together and attach them to nothing. If it doesn't work, I'll, I can just cut them upstairs. Let's see how this goes together. I'm not entirely sure this goes like so. Well, let's just uh, solve a shield to this grindy looking thing just to get a bit more mechanical strength since I'm such a brutish goofball. I 
There we go. That ought to keep it in place. Nice and strong. Uh, and tennis, come on. Like so. There we go. That should be some kind of an approximation of an antenna. <laughs> oh, I have absolutely no idea whether or not this is going to do anything or if it's just going to be so mismatched and horrible that it's just not going to work at all. But ah, we had to find out. Oh, these aren't getting on anymore. Alright, welcome back to the Blair Witch Project. So, I've just uh, mounted this uh, where it belongs, and the wires are going to be 4G stick down there. So, everything's paid up, I've got everything set up. Uh, we are getting, we're getting three bars of the 4G, that's the same as we usually do, so let's just run this ad ridden thing and see what her performance is. Uh, that's not bad. That's about the same as I've been getting all along, really. So, a bit disappointing in that regard, although we will see what the upload rate will be. Not very impressive in the slightest. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That is a real shame. Well, hello there. That's certainly one of the best results we've gotten thus far. Uh, almost 23 megabits upload. Uh, so, that is because someone gave me the tip to raise the antenna up a bit more so that the entire thing comes above that metal radio to down there. And uh, I've been playing around with it for a while now. I had a quick peek where I just flipped all of these uh, 90 degrees in order to pretend they're vertically polarised and that just made everything go to hell, uh, even if I also flipped that thing. Uh, but yeah, this is by far the best result yet, so I'm curious what's going to happen if I just uh, do the same thing, uh, have the antenna aimed this way. I've attacked it with a spectrum analyzer to get the best uh, aim. It's quite well aimed rather tail right now. Uh, but yeah, let's just go down to a workshop and replace this with uh, the new 4G antennas. I'd rather think it wouldn't be terribly exciting watching me solder two wires and swear at losing one of the magnetic bases. Uh, but uh, this is how a contraption now looks. So. I've just got the two uh, eBay 4G antennas uh, mounted on a little piece of metal right where the original stuff used to go, so let's check our performance. And I'd say that looks pretty similar to what we saw with, with the actual TV and antenna thing, except you know, a bit slower perhaps. By moving the antenna around a bit and fiddling with stuff I can get performance up just a bit and I uh, still haven't been able to get it quite as good as the uh, actual TV antenna receiver bit so I think I'm just going to mount that back and see if I can get consistently good results for that because I was quite impressed. Uh, 23 megabits is certainly faster than anything I've seen prior. And we are back to where we started pretty much. I've done a somewhat better job to assembling this thing, putting a mild strain relief in there and writing the cable a bit better, nothing of much importance for performance though, and I've been clever and used the fact that the connectors are angled to just main the modem to the shield there, and it's working quite well, the USB cord's held there with tape and it's not going anywhere, and to ensure testing isn't tainted by other factors. I've also changed my weird remote desktop to a PC connected to the Wi-Fi coming out of that box to just a plain Ethernet cable going straight into my old Mac and performance is pretty much the best I've seen yet. So I'm quite happy with that. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I tried to do some testing with Google Drive and stuff but uh, this old computer 
Although it actually doesn't have a grunt to saturate the upload speed uh, with Google Drive. If I just uh, drag like a random file on there, Linux ISO, you can see how Firefox is just gonna bam. 170 percent processor usage. It does get up to pretty much 20 megabits, but that's struggling so hard. It's not going to be a proper benchmark, and I can't be bothered hooking up a more powerful computer to this right now, uh, because it's the best result we've gotten yet, and I'm quite satisfied with it, because uh, above all, uh, this is a much neater solution than any of the other ones I've had, since this just uses the original and turn apart, it's uh, going to be durable and strong and reliable. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the other videos on this antenna if you haven't already. Cheerio! Oh wow, so I just got done editing this video and it's uh, far off peak out. It's like one in the morning on a weekday and I ran this beat and would you look at that? That's almost 30 megabits both directions. And what's even more impressive, we've now got four bars of a 4G. That's the best I've ever had. Therefore, given how cobbled together this antenna is and how far away the tower is, I'm finding this to be quite impressive, quite impressive indeed. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. So while trying to reassemble the original antennas, I was spending a considerable amount of time going through this pile of rubbish trying to find that one single magnetic sticker which I misplaced. But it was by my side all along.